Okay, so I have my coffee now and I have my planner in front of me. I'm using the 2024 portrait planner, which I have been using all year and that I am obsessed with. I'm just gonna swipe to get into the planner. You know the drill if you've been here before. And then we're just going to hop over to April. And you know what, before that actually, I almost forgot that it's the beginning of a new quarter. So what we're gonna do is actually go back to my home here and then open up the April to June quarterly planning page here. I'm gonna grab my pen and then I'm just gonna jot down any important dates that I know for sure that I need to do. And this is going to be a busy quarter because this is usually when I work on planners for the upcoming next year and I need to get those done by May so I can send them out to people to test them for links and things and check for quality, things like that so that I can have mid-year planners up sometime in June before July for sure. And I tend to do my big reworks around this time of the year of the planners, even though that's not super traditional for planner spaces. And that is because maybe it's because I'm not a student anymore and I'm just like a regular adult in the real world these days. And I live in Pittsburgh in like Midwest, East Coast sort of area. I've always lived in the North and it does not feel to me like the new year until spring has sprung because trying to start new goals in January when it's frigid outside and absolutely no light to be had for months on end, is just not, I don't know, it's just not super motivating. That time of the year is motivating, but naturally every year around April, May, I have like a second, beginning of the year kind of experience. Let me know if you have the same thing down below. Okay, so we're here on my quarterly planning page and I'm just gonna go ahead and write in any dates that I know for sure off the top of my head that I need to remember. Now that we have the quarterly planning page done, I am going to jump over to my April spread and start planning out my month like normal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pop down here to my goals, tap on my goals symbol here and fill out my April goals page. So I'm gonna start with my intentions, then do my brain dump, what went well the prior month, and then set three tangible goals with action items and deadlines for the month. Okay, so now we have our goals and what's going on written down for the month. And I'm just gonna go through my April spread and write down any dates I know for sure that are booked out, any appointments I have, anybody's birthdays, events, you know, the normal stuff you put in the calendar, deadlines, things like that.
And now that I'm done putting in loosely what I think I'm gonna be doing for the month, I am gonna go do my favorite part and that is head over to my vision board, turn this over into landscape and then open up Pinterest and make a fun little vision board. And we're definitely gonna go with a little bit of spring inspiration for sure. I don't know about you, but see making a vision board at the end of my planning routine just is the icing on the cake and it makes me feel so much better to take on the rest of the month. And in this case, the rest of the quarter. So I am going to do the same thing over in my little inspiration board here. There are so many fun spring ideas. So I am just going to make a fresh one this time in this little corner. Let's do this cute little guy and this cute little guy honestly I think I might just do that and then open up my stickers here and put in a cute little sticker here I might put in a couple more of these actually this back around put my pencil back and this is the end of my plan with me I love the way that this looks and at the end of setting up my goals and making my little vision board I feel so much more ready to take on the rest of the month and in this case also the rest of the quarter so I hope that this next section of the year goes really well for you if you like this video please like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time bye